my desert. My Iraqis. My Dune. The character of the Baron is a very small role, but if you gave him enough physicality, you could create such a strong presence that he would sort of cast a shadow over the entire film, which is necessary for a bad guy. I said that you could join her. So join her. I needed an actor with that gravitas, with that range, that will be able to bring the deep intelligence of the Baron and the cruelty and I will say right from the start that as much Stenen is the loveliest guy, still I'm frightened of him. <laughs> He's very frightening. When is a gift not a gift? He's not only very gracious, but I can tell that he's a hard worker because of the makeup that he's had to put up with and <laughs> go through and still be able to perform. He is so imposing in his makeup and his look. The first time I saw him in his look was the first time I met him. And I was like, oh my God. It's incredible. If the Duke's son lives, now our trade is with we'll him. His performance is what makes that transformation believable. So it's done, finally. We did a tremendous amount of, of research and design in order to find that shape that will define the Baron. I had long discussions with Denis about where I wanted to go with it, and that he looked different, that he had a presence that you hadn't seen before. I didn't want the Baron to look like a caricature. I wanted a strength and power, and I wanted to feel a menace. One of the first decisions I made about the Baron is that we will not use a CGI, but the prosthetics. Because I wanted the actor to be in relationship directly with the character. It's a huge undertaking. I spoke to Denis about it and said, you know, Louvain and Eva, the makeup designers in Sweden, would be my choice to create this. And Stellan was very happy with the idea. Thankfully, they're living in Sweden. And we started doing tests very early on. And they're fantastic. They're some of the best special effect makeup people in the world. We took Stellan in for live cast, and we did a full body live cast. And we started doing a sculpt of the entire character. If you have the full makeup, it's seven hours. And it's physically hard. Mentally, I can do it because it's fun watching them work. So the first thing is in the morning, he puts the cooling suit on. And then we pull this neck on top of him. It's like a big donut piece that goes on top. And after that, we put this headpiece. The big thing is, of course, the change of the face and the shoulders and all that. That is very, very delicate. I mean, normally, uh, uh, the stuntman doesn't wear it more than one hour. No, that's I, I can easily do it too, because I'm not a sissy. Yeah, uh, it's a real man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put on his undersuit. Yeah, this is the fun part. <laughs> and then you have the fat skin on, and then the edges between the skin and your fake hands and your fake head has to be hand-painted in, and it's a very complicated process. Seven hours later. A lifetime. It required a lot of patience from Stellan, and uh, I'm still grateful that Stellan didn't complain. <laughs> okay, sure, no, no problem. And I've never seen his demeanor be anything other than pleasant and gracious, and that says a lot because I know from wearing makeup in the past that it's just not a comfortable thing. <laughs> That's very good. And I also think that he does enjoy it. Yeah. He, he does enjoy becoming the Baron. It was mesmerizing to see the Baron come to life. He was quite frightening. Tonight the house of a trade is full, and your bloodline ends forever. You can produce the nicest makeup and the most beautiful pieces, but if you don't have an actor that can act in what we do, then it's all for nothing. It's really the actor that makes the makeup become something that is alive. Forever. <sighs> Kill them all. Stellan is so possessed by the darkness of the Baron. Yeah, fantastic performance. You don't feel wonderful all the time when you're out, but then suddenly something happens, often with another actor, and it swings, and it's music. Yeah. Oh, this is what I live for.